I've been thinking a lot lately about us and about our former relationship, about our breakup. Well, when I say our breakup, I mean that I broke up with you, but I mean, as I said at the time, and it must be, I don't know, two months ago now, I think, (laughs) it seems like much longer, but that's another story. I I just wanted, well, I thought I wanted my sense of freedom back. I don't know. It it made sense at the time. I mean, I had thought it through and I just didn't want to do that anymore. So I left. Yeah, I've dated other girls, of course, but that was not my motivation. Like, it wasn't my motivation to break up with you to go and, you know, play the field or whatever. Like, that wasn't my plan at all. It was more about me. But anyway, I... I keep coming back to you. In my mind, I mean, I I keep coming back to you. My thoughts keep coming back to you. I keep coming back to you. (laughs) In my mind, I mean, I I miss you. I, I think about you every morning when I get up. I think about you. During the day, I think about you in the evening. I think about you as I go to sleep at night. I reimagine the good times that we used to have. I picture that you were there with me. And we're doing just something, nothing important, just living life, just giggling, cuddling, talking... Just being together, just like we used to be. Then I miss you a lot. I feel this emptiness inside of me. It's a horrible feeling. It's like part of me is missing. Like something's missing. And I've been experiencing this more and more. And I'm trying to figure it out. What what is this empty feeling inside of me? And I'm trying to avoid the answer because I know what the answer is. The answer is you. You're missing from my life. (sighs) Oh. I still love you. I thought that I didn't. I thought that I wanted to move on and that this chapter of my life was over. But turns out I I was just confused and stressed with things and Things that were in my life at the time. And maybe I somehow projected these stresses onto you. And maybe, I don't know, somehow linked them, associated them with you somehow. In the back of my brain, subconsciously. 
So I want to say that I was wrong to break up with you. I was selfish, childish, maybe not childish, but like immature. I, I didn't, I didn't stop to think about the big picture. It was this kind of self-centered, short-term thinking. Really. So I came over today to say that I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to put you into this whole situation. And I know that I've caused you a lot of pain through this. So I understand if you don't even want to hear me out, I, I got ya. I, I, I get it. But the truth is, I, I didn't just come here today out of an impulse. I, I first thought about it two weeks ago. And then I thought, uh, look, I should just control my emotions. Just, just in case I was lonely or it was more about me. But as the weeks have since passed, I, I just want you more and more. Every morning is more difficult than the last. The feeling that I have every morning is stronger. And my need for you is stronger. And coming here today wasn't a conscious choice. I didn't plan it. I didn't tell myself it's the right thing to do. Something inside of me made this decision for me. Something real that was growing inside of me. Being with you is what I want. I want this. It's what I truly want in my life. I truly want to be with you. Look, we're not perfect, either of us, of course. We're human beings. We're not supposed to be. It's not possible to be. But I know that I want to be with you. And I want us to be back together again. I was wrong to break up with you. It was the wrong thing to do. But in my heart, I, I never broke up with you. My heart is still with you. I'm sorry just to spring this on you, just to show up and, and start with this. But I hope that you can accept me, accept what I'm saying, understand what I'm saying. You don't have to answer me today. You don't need to say anything for sure and certain today. I, I know it's a shock, but I love you and I will always love you.